three young adults are about to record a rather typical podcast, one where bad media is consumed and even worse commentary is spat out. One of them has just realized he can do a slightly below average Rod Serling impression. Being a bit generous, aren't you? It's stupid shit like this that serves as entertainment in the outskirts of sound. Ba, 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 da, da, da. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, <laughs> 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 everybody. You, you, you told me I had a thing prepared, yeah, yeah, and I wasn't yeah. disappointed. I should have guessed that, honestly. You, you have been hyping up your Rod Serling impression. Rod Serling. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, uh, what welcome the fuck to the did outskirts. you just fucking say to me, you little bitch? <laughs> I'll, have you, I'll have you know, I, I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs, and I have over three hundred confirmed kills. Man, you've been bit. You've uh, you've really been binging the Twilight Zone, huh? <laughs> I guess I have. Uh, I guess we, I guess we had a viewer poll. Yeah, we had a viewer poll uh, this this time around. Um, we might keep doing them um, because uh, fucking um, <laughs> y'all picked yep. a good one. <laughs> God, oh you did. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of sad that Sharkman Frank's Treasure Hunt um, made it in uh, in fucking last place because that's the one of the four that I'd already heard and knew would be a good one. But oh, believe fucking... me, I'm sure that they'll ha- they're gonna hear about it eventually anyway. Oh, of course. <laughs> this one. <laughs> so so we we so we listened to uh, Eric Dubay's um, uh, the Flat Earth Movement. More like the Flat Bowel Movement. Hey. So, so this is a, a Nazi flat Earth vegan rap album. Yoga Eastern instructor. Don't. Uh, in, in uh, citizen of Thailand. American. Ten tracks, like a r- roughly forty minutes. So, so about the right length of like a Weezer album. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it feel it feels longer than To Be Kind, but <laughs> this is the length of a Weezer album. <laughs> It feels as long as the T line. Oh, Not quite as long as soundtracks for the blind, but it this does man feel is longer like, than to be kind. This man's rap sheet, like, like is like one of the <laughs> most interesting things I've ever read. Like, in another world, I could imagine that I was I was friends with this man. <laughs> you know, like I I almost want to like know him personally, almost. just because he just seems to lead the most interesting life. <laughs> <laughs> Except I guess it can't be that interesting if he has enough spare time to be doing this. <laughs> so, okay. The Flat Earth Movement, the title track, it's interesting. This album actually starts with a beef rap of sorts. <laughs> it, it, like, it does kind of have a, a similar approach as, as Doom's beef rap, yeah. Does it, um, does it have... I guess also I, I, Cells, which... I still don't understand why Cells didn't open uh, Born Like This, but I, fucking did, did, that, no, that, it, that's it, getting off topic. We're gonna um, we're gonna be like actually pulling MF Doom things more times than you're gonna imagine throughout this. It's but bizarre. Like, um, it's, fucking... it's a bit bizarre, but like it, it I, I like didn't really weird... think about that until now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like this. It it starts off as like just like a regular brag rap kind of thing where he's like you know as braggadocious as a guy trying to sell you that the earth is flat can be. And he's clearly trying to rip off like fucking like Eminem show encore era like Eminem <laughs> like uh... except it sounds like yeah. way more low Oh budget. my god the production. <laughs> it's it sounds it sounds like encore somehow but worse, worse somehow. The flat earth movement is taking on the world here you are not living on a pear shaped oblate sphere. It's like it's weird this entire thing is like brick walled <laughs> to hell. It's There's so like, loud we ha- yeah it's constantly completely the audio while doing it, the listening like, party because it was just hurting our ears. We could not, not hear each other speak. Not that we were like <laughs> expecting like Brian Eno levels of production from Eric Dubé, <laughs> local SoundCloud rapper, but like, like, God, this thing is like hard to listen to just because of how loud you know, it is sometimes. I, I think it's it's kind of interesting how last time we did that Bill Cosby drug album, which is like surprisingly well produced, and then we just went into this, which is one of the worst sounding albums that I've ever listened yeah. to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so like this whole thing starts the way you'd expect, where he's like a, uh, you know, you know the we we the Earth is actually flat, 
and uh, you're not moving. Literally, he says, uh, you're not moving. The earth is static. Gravity is magic. The truth is tragic. <gasps> Can and we say so, that his flow like, is non-existent? You get what you, no, no, like, something to keep in mind is that, like, he has the exact same flow throughout this entire fucking yeah, yeah. thing. Oh, yeah, he like, does. He sticks to one like, flow, it's, like, it's... per track. <laughs> You're at this static, gravity like, is this, magic, hit, Literally is every single time he comes on the mic, every time he comes on the mic, he's just like, and it's little variations. Ten tracks. Well, nine, but we'll get to that. Nine tracks of. But no. So, like, I I mentioned at the start of this that this is like his. This is like actually a like a beef rap, and you're wondering like who he has beef with. Surprisingly enough, apparently other members of the Flat Earth movement. Yeah. <laughs> because, like, yeah. the, the chorus is, a. Uh, right. He really doesn't like Mark Sargent, apparently, and I'm yeah. not sure why. <laughs> like, like uh, you know, he's in the chorus, he's, like, uh, saying, like, uh, you try to hijack and co-op the movement, and he just starts naming... He just name drops a bunch of people that I just I have never Paul heard Bales, of. Paul Bales, Stephen Christ, <laughs> my life. Red, like, Mark Sargent, Paul Bates, Stephen... Reason. Rain Griffin, Pat Steer. Ran Griffin, <laughs> Pete Steer. <laughs> John <laughs> LeBall. <laughs> like, just, I, uh, I have heard of none of these people, and I'm learning so much about them through this guy. <laughs> <You're>, this <laughs> <is> yeah. Like, <laughs> like, he, he ap- apparently, Rain Griffin does interpretive dances. <laughs> so bizarre to hear and like, is it something that he that keeps, have no context on he's bringing up is like mark Sargent and like shit like game design standpoint and i have yeah, no what? idea what that's supposed to mean <laughs> like these are saying yeah like imagine like, being he, this he brings, it up twice. he brings it up on two separate tracks he brings up mark Sargent. i don't know why yeah yeah like what yeah it's it's like a weird. I think it's thing. on this one and once you go flat, which is, is, is it, the, the I guess I guess the uh, the the okay. big one off of this album. The uh, is, it, <laughs> is it like a meme in like flat Earth circles or something? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't want to yeah, know. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, no. This thing sounds as amateur and as like for the first track, like, basically what you hear, what you see is what you get, but. The more we progress, the more... The more confusing. God. <laughs> we are entering the twilight Holy zone. shit, this Slowly. second track. <laughs> okay, Palpatine, you want to describe what this, this second track is? <laughs> oh, God. Fucking, um... Ah, uh, the second track. Oh, yeah, fucking... Yeah, the first track, there wasn't much to say about. This one, though? <laughs> Called the Eddie Bravo Questions Everything? <laughs> it's a... It's a Joe Rogan diss track? track? Question mark. Question mark. (laughs) I was wary at first, but Eric Dubay has some compelling arguments supporting Flat Earth that can't be explained. Oh my god, Eric Dubay? Yo, Joe Rogan, what you been smoking? You know, the Earth's flat, and that's a fear factor. Yeah, you know, like, fucking uh, Gerard Way's cousin, (laughs) Joe Rogan. (laughs) (laughs) You're right! Holy shit! Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so this track is like the most borderline experimental thing on this thing because like, is it? It's it's like no, it's because okay, I've never seen any <laughs> rap album do this right where it's like, uh huh. You take all the skits on an album <laughs> and mm-hmm. you just meld them into one, <laughs> and like for one five minute track because all this track is is just audio clips of Joe Rogan making fun yeah. of Eric Dubé. <laughs> <laughs> he he raps in the first minute and then it's nothing but your own oh yeah that's right for four minutes i kind of yeah, got just... lost in the sauce part way through this thing so my memory's a little hazy <laughs> yeah like it's like the, the whole thing behind this track is that he's trying to be like oh yeah he, i'm trying to prove to you how stupid joe rogan is by playing him out of context except it doesn't work because you think the <laughs> earth is flat so <laughs> You know, it doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so it's just here's kind the thing. Of it should it shouldn't be difficult. It should not be difficult to prove that Joe Rogan has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. You know, Joe Rogan literally <laughs> is just like a guy who just like if you walk in and just I could if I gave him like fifteen if it, if I had like fifteen minutes I could convince him that the Shadow Moses incident actually happened. <laughs> the what? The fucking uh, the Shadow Moses incident oh. from Metal Gear Solid One. <laughs> Oh, I, I uh, could okay, convince I him that fucking Metal, Metal Gear. Gear but... That was like a, I stole that <laughs> joke, but like, <laughs> yeah, no, I, if I, he's like the most gullible motherfucker lo- on the planet. Yeah, you have to lower the bar that, like... so low in order to have him not believe something. <laughs> you have to be a Nazi flat earther vegan in order for Joe Rogan to not fall for your bullshit. <laughs> This track is like, imagine all the fucking Paul skits from the Eminem albums, where it's like he's calling in, trying to like be like, yo, Eminem, uh, the record label says you're too based and epic and they want to censor you. <laughs> except like, <laughs> except like, it's just, <laughs> except it's literally just Joe Rogan clips. He got Joe Rogan to play the part of Paul and his weird fucking mind prison that he's invented. <laughs> it's just. This thing is just like a trip into the mind. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> Which I think brings us as to like uh, statistically the most popular yes, track 5, on this album. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah okay, I was rap. I was I was gonna start talking about it earlier, but I decided to wait. Uh, Once you go flat is the most popular song here. It has it has a music video. Um, it fucking it's it's been covered by H Bomber guy. I think fucking internet common etiquette might have featured this guy at one point. This is this is the classic. This is this, this is, is going to be what he's standard. remembered for. <laughs> when Eric Dubay is dead and all of his personal artifacts are dashed to the four winds, this is what we'll have to dashed remember to him the by. Four winds. And it is it he. he so Paul Michael Bales made a diss track about me. Him and Neil deGrasse Tyson think they can rap now. Okay. I'm in. Um, so, so, uh, uh, Dorito, I think you should uh, just start by, by just reading uh, what oh, I yeah. so your just favorite like... lyric. All of our favorite lyrics. Is, is, oh, like, yeah. a fucking, uh, what, you mean the ones that are, like, memed to death, like, uh... Yes. Uh... <laughs> Bust some raps now I'm flowing on with a song for your mom. Tell her the earth's flat and her ass is the bomb. Tell her Iraq sells crack to Iran. Tell her I'll be back with a smack for her son. Then tell her she's fat like a renaissance cunt. <laughs> tell her all that oh, and oh. then in one more. Tell her that you are the son of a whore. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, got, I, got, I, got a whore. I, I gotta say like he does, yeah. Like, tell her all that and tell her one more. Tell her all, tell her that you are the son of a whore. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> That's what literally all of his delivery sounds like. Tell her all that, then tell her one more. Tell her that you were the son of a whore. When she asks Sue and tells you to snitch, tell her her son is a son of a bitch. Anyway. Like, that's what he sounds like. <laughs> Just all the time. Yeah, yeah, except when he's much. trying to be aggressive, yeah. and then he's actually worse at it than Eminem somehow. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Sorry, just I th- okay, this entire okay. segment is just gonna be pulling grab bags of just my favorite just lyrics like, from this. Just it's like, just loaded. Hitler was cool and not a bad guy. <laughs> just like you know, forces force you to put on your they live glasses. You know, you gotta drop that one in there. See, what you see, I was right. The Earth fucking flat. Holocaust denied. <laughs> just like first mention of Holocaust denied. Like, okay, no, 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 no. Actually, <laughs> how the fuck? Okay, no. How do those? How do, how does how do those things connect though? Like, if the Earth is flat, then why does that make the Holocaust not? I, true? I, I get that you're a flat earther, and I get that you're flat earther. What? <laughs> Just flat earther, and I know you're a flat earther, and I know you're a Holocaust denier. But like, those two thing, those two beliefs have. This like, is a running theme on the album: not being able to pick a fucking topic. <laughs> <laughs> fucking okay, I haven't even fucking read the full like lyric here. Sorry. What what? You see, I was right. The earth's fucking flat. Holocaust denied. Hitler was cool and not a bad guy. Tomatic Jews have control of your mind. It's just like it was cool just, not, this, the, I mean the just the the, the, the sheer just the sheer juvenileness of this if I don't know if that's a word, but like just Hitler Juven, was cool and not a bad guy. <laughs> Immaturity <laughs> Just, 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 
there's something weirdly innocent about how that's phrased. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I was cool and not a bad guy. Oh, he wasn't, I mean, like, a bad guy. Cool. Like, like, you know, you know, so, like, you he know, He made mistakes like the rest of us. <laughs> Truly one of the, one of the greatest bars. See, I've never heard this album until now. Hanging around these two, I have heard Hitler was cool and not a bad guy. So many fucky times. Huh? We quote this shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that he points out that like uh, this line here, like NASA stole trillions, and then you give give you CGI pics as like as if NASA has money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Like, like, fucking D- Doom could never. Kendrick Doom could, could never. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> fucking Earl could fucking ne- never. <laughs> fucking Kanye West wishes he could produce like this. In fact, no, in fact, I think. I well, think. That- G- that, I think Jesus that one might is be king. true, actually, yeah. at this point. Yeah, I, I, think, I think Jesus is King took a lot of inspiration from this. <laughs> <laughs> How long until Kanye starts supporting fucking Flat Earth conspiracy theories? <laughs> I give I him think six he said months. Something about it at some point. <laughs> I could be making that up, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that's okay. Like this thing is just bar after bar of just sheer absurdity, and we gotta leave some to just. So so we so we should move on to, to Life viewer. on the Ball, the one song on <laughs> <Yeah>. this album. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like the one song, one of the few songs on this album that actually kind of is close to sounding like a song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like the production's not abysmal. Uh, fucking um, like it's not good. It's not abysmal. Uh, it's um, the, the there's a guest rapper possible. on this one who actually has a considerably more time in this track Thankfully. than Eric does. And uh, fucking yeah, there's like and a he's guest like rap- competent. I mean, he's still a flatter right, weirdo. Still denies the Holocaust. Uh, he, he's but, like, like, yeah, here's the here, here's the but thing. But like, he has like, charisma. He has flow. He has yeah. bars. Even yeah, if they're that's... about how the Earth is flat. <laughs> be thankful that the moon remains. Higher than the average Asian to see someone pissing down your leg and telling you it's raining. That, that's one thing that you kind of recognize, like when you get to this point, is how like monotone Eric is, just as a rapper. Just like you, you, yeah. you finally get this one like kind of. Co- and then there's just this one guy who comes on this track. He's like, you know, isn't a, credited. He isn't credited at all. We Nobody don't knows know who this who guy he is. He is even more anonymous than Mr. Fantastic, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no way to trace this guy at all. We don't even have a name to him. And, like, he <laughs> he's, like, already he's doing more to help, to, like, kind of help me buy the whole Flat Earth thing than Eric is just by the sheer fact that he sounds like he's just chillaxing, <laughs> like, with a blunt in his hand constantly. Like, I'm just... I, I, I wanted to hear an album of this guy, honestly. Yeah, and then Eric comes in and immediately ruins everything when he opens his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> he's just... He's just everything that comes out of his mouth. And it's just, like, you know, uh, just, like, Jewish conspiracy theories, like, weirdly uh, specific kind of, like, references to, like, like, Slomatic Jews or whatever. Just, like, all this... No, I think is this the one that like I forget is it is this is it this one or is it the next one that had just like the rhyme scheme that was just all fucking like abbreviations? Um, ooh, I think that might have been the next one. I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Which we might move on to the next one because I don't really have much else to say about this. Yeah, because life on the ball, life on the ball. So voluntarist Voluntarist rap, rap. which sounds like an, which sounds like an (laughs) ANCAP title, but whatever. Voluntarianism. Like. I have the lyrics pull up to this one. I, I like this one because, like, this is the boldest opening yet, where he's like, yo, I made a decision, like, ten years ago. I'm on a mission. I wrote it down. Here's what it says. I'm gonna destroy the NWO on my own. Yeah. I'm gonna end the NWO on my own. Yeah, I know. Sounds pretty egoistic and optimistic. He says, <laughs> and then he says, just, yeah, bold. I know. Sounds pretty egoistic and optimistic, <laughs> but someone's gotta do it, and I'm a mystic. Oh, uh, someone's gotta do it. This might as well be me, right? He's a bit confused, he's but he's got the spirit. Down the man <laughs> solo. Actually, wait. That applies to something later on the track. <laughs> oh God. 
the, most of this track is right. pretty uneventful. Like, it's a lot of the same shit, but there's a bit towards the end where he just straight up fucking, like, starts talking about, like, how, like, you know, the U.S. military is bad and how, like, oh, all no, these no, no, wars no. are stupid. Yeah, no, he fucking literally just out of nowhere drops the most true yeah, right thing the tail he ever end of the says, track. where it's like... Yeah, I think he ends up coming out as pro-Palestine here, <laughs> which, I mean, <laughs> might just be because he hates the Jews yeah. that much. This is the real horse no, theory. I'm just gonna read it out. Like, fucking, like, he came to the right conclusion for the most incorrect way possible. <laughs> just, he opens his verses, like, this last verse goes out to all the soldiers. No thanks for your service, and no, you're not a hero. Uh, fucking, like, going down a little bit here. Uh, you really ought to stop and think before you go, man. Because soldiers stop being heroes when they leave their own homeland. <laughs> like, like that shit. is the best line in this entire thing. And it's like, I mean, admittedly, it'd get laughed out of a fucking cypher. Can yeah. I just talk about how every beat on this album sounds like the shittiest possible version of an epic <laughs> rap battles of history <laughs> instrumental? It actually does. Yeah! <laughs> Oh okay, wait, no. yeah, every album, every single one, track on one this album has like she strings or she horns or like MIDI guitar or like something. God awful yeah. drums. Oh yeah, they're just like it's just something so, like, sounds terrible. Well, everything sounds terrible. It's Most just so trying so, so hard to sound terrible epic. each time. And, and, and every it's fucking like, turn. They, they all all the beats sound so flat to the point where it's yeah. like, even though the songs are like three or four minutes long, they sound like they're they feel like they're fucking eternity. Yeah, because they don't really yeah. change. And, and, and like and... the beats ride out for like a solid minute yeah, after yeah. the song's done. Yeah. Also, like... we're talking about just just general technical gripes. I need to mention something about the cover of this thing. <laughs> so, like, on the cover, like, like you know, like, y- you have, like, him standing on a beach, and you got the text, the Flat Earth Movement. Uh, the Flat Earth is written in blue. The word movement is written in orange. The, the blue text is over the sky, and the <laughs> orange text is on the sand. Nice going, Colorfully. jackass. <laughs> Literally, he could have just switched the colors, <laughs> and it would have made visual sense. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> okay, one more, one more thing I want to bring up about voluntarist rap is the part where he just starts a verse by saying, by the way, thanks yeah, for 9-11, yeah, yeah. you assholes. I was going to mention the casual... <laughs> by the way, thanks for 9-11. <laughs> one last thing about voluntarist rap is the part where he calls out Eminem, um, which... I mean, oh, yeah. Um, He's, where, where, oh, where's, God, I forgot about that. Where's the line? Oh, also, my rapper, chair keeps Make you forget Eminem's um, name then, Slim Shady. Fading into the background when Dubay steps in Dude. and clips in the mainstream. I already think more about what this guy does day to day than I do Eminem, so, like, I think he's right. Living in Thailand, apparently. <laughs> He's fucking living it up, not giving a Dude, fuck. Do we talk about blood oh, rituals? No. Oh <laughs> no! Oh no! This is my fuck. This is oh, my favorite. Okay, so this uh, this track literally <laughs> opens. <laughs> oh, oh god! god. <laughs> this track literally opens with him, <laughs> with him being like, "Oh god, they kidnapped me. They tortured me. They." They taped my eyelids open and made me watch Vsauce videos. <laughs> They're not gonna... They made me dress up like a woman. They're not gonna let me make educational videos anymore. Or do research and write articles. They're gonna make me make mediocre, poorly mixed rap music. <laughs> He's like so aware. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, fucking! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That that first I, I, I opening like line is just the funniest put, like, thing. <laughs> I feel like I'll almost have to like just put that entire thing in the fucking podcast unedited so people know we're not right, making no, it we're up. Not, we're not lying. We're not lying. That's actually what it sounds like. They got to me, guys. They've been torturing me. Take my eyelids open and force me to watch Vsauce. They made me dress like a woman. They won't let me write books or articles anymore. Can't even make informative YouTube videos. They're forcing me to release poorly mixed rap music, trying to kill the flat earth movement. (laughs) The sheer confusion. It's amazing. Oh, Oh, God. (laughs) They taped my eyelids open and made me watch Vsauce videos. That yeah, fucking so, killed so, me. So, like, the actual song is about, like, veganism and part. shit. Yeah. 
Oh, but yeah, there's yeah, also yeah. a line about yeah, how like the, the Jews second are line bad. Of the song is the Jews <laughs> yeah, no, okay. Just thrown in there with no, no you, provocation. You, you say that though, because but like, okay, first of all, is like you know we mentioned that this is like a a, a Nazi flat earther vegan, and we haven't mentioned any <laughs> vegan bars so far, and he, they come in here at the last. Uh, like third of the song where he basically makes the argument where he's like if i kill if i come inside and kill your dog then you sh- and like eat your dog then you should think that's okay because you eat beef or whatever which like, is like okay <laughs> so like, you know i mean i'm i'm not like a vegan myself i probably Same. should be um i've i've, I've I, like i don't really like i don't re- eat like red meat or anything anymore i'm trying to like get i'm trying to maybe like eventually become vegan but like this is like the worst fucking this, argument this i've ever heard like, yeah it's just like, like <laughs> it's like the most this this like, man it's, is like, like fucking no, nothing has turned me off the idea of veganism more since like i don't know the last time i've seen a clip from like an unnatural oh, no. vegan video <laughs> this man is a straw man for every ideology he stands he for Last uh, thing I just want to mention about Blood Rituals, just because it's like a broader oh. criticism that I feel like just is as exemplified here, is just this man can never stick to a topic. No, no, no <laughs> never, no. no. <laughs> like, like I said that this was about like veganism, but it, I said earlier it doesn't show up. Well, yeah, the mainly first until, verse like, the is about last, how the Jews like, are bad, two and then thirds. it just is like, oh, by the way, like maybe the last don't third. Eat animals. <laughs> Just don't eat animals. Also, I'm go- if you disagree with me- I like the way he phrases it. If you disagree with me, I'm going to come over and, and then kill and be eat okay your with dog. <laughs> which you should be fine all with. Animals. It's always cannibalism. <laughs> by your own logic. <laughs> now, let's say, by your own logic. <laughs> by your own logic. I could eat your dog, and it would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> let's say, for the sake of argument, fucking I was track, your daddy. Man. <laughs> this next title is promising. <laughs> Yeah, we started Sharia theorizing law. about what what it could possibly be. <laughs> I here's and, uh, the thing. When... I initially had a theory that that this was gonna be like and like it. I knew it wasn't gonna be true, but but like so there's this one fucking like 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 absolutely fucking insane alt right guy, a fucking um, uh, Owen <laughs> Benjamin, yeah, uh, fa- fascinating individual, yeah. terrible person, um, <laughs> like fucking like he has this interesting stance on Muslims. He hates moderate Muslims, but he respects extreme Muslims because like they're <laughs> also like weird conservatives, like he is <laughs> fucking anti centrism. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um uh but like fucking <laughs> that's what i wanted right, right. that's what you wanted so, so like i was i was honestly kind of hoping that eric dubé would have the same weird fucked up beliefs as that um unfortunately but, like no nah, no nah, he just hates muslims it was barely about no, even what sharia laws mentioned that like the last yeah it was barely about the song, the song that. starts with him like he fucking cucked by an inuit girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he starts out. Like, what was that? He starts out as like, I met an Inuit chick. Yeah, <laughs> we were like, in oh. Alaska. I mean, went back to uh, North Dakota. Just fucking dump me, like. And then, no, he went back to fucking like, back Nebraska. To Nebraska. <laughs> like, what? What are you talking about? No, okay, so I think we should just we should just skip to like the fucking highlight of this track, which is the fucking way it ends <laughs> on the fucking most bizarre set of samples <laughs> consecutively I've ever heard. Yes. Like, oh, yes. oh yeah, yeah. Fucking it literally just straight up plays the fucking like Muslim uh, uh, the call the to fucking, prayer. Uh, Allah fucking Allah, Allah Akbar. Oh wait, yeah. Uh, just like that. No, but... <laughs> What the fuck does it play it before that? Does the fucking Royal Akbar meme? Um, that, like that, that exact clip. That, that exact clip. <laughs> that exact fucking. Clip. What the fu- no wait. What the fuck does that? No, there were like more than one. Right, right. More than so, just that. So he's talking though, about. Because... Okay, so it's like great replacement conspiracy theory, right? And it's like the um, what he said, like America's racial melting pot that the Jews are st- are stirring, and they're gonna bring Sharia law to the United States. <laughs> And then he says something about we're gonna pray five times a day towards a city miles away. And then he plays a sample of the Muslim call to prayer. Hey, let's pray five times a day to annoy loudspeakers from miles away. <laughs> and then continues the verse. Yeah. And then immediately afterwards, <laughs> plays the fucking Allah Akbar like meme sample. <laughs> I fucking was so <laughs> caught off guard by that. <laughs> 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 fuck it 
just shot me through the heart, dude. <laughs> This Holy album shit. just is like he's, he's stunned at times. <laughs> oh god. So so I feel like we should talk about what is probably the weirdest track here. Uh fucking The Merry Go Round um, World. Yeah. <laughs> track eight, which Okay, there's no way else, there's nowhere else to, there's no other way I can put this. This is a flat earth or insane clown posse song. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's just literally what it is except i genuinely wish that like the entire time i was listening to this i was just hoping that fucking like violent j and shaggy 2 dope would fucking like just break into the song and just, just like, you know, kill <laughs> eric duvet for like a bit or something and just hijack the rest of it because i would have absolutely would have liked that better <laughs> god this song is ass. piss <laughs> this song is ass <laughs> It's just like, hey, kids. It's like this. This is like presented as like a PSA to the children about all the cons- the the uh, all the shit. That yeah, so we've it opens been with like merry-go-round already. music sample, and it's like, come round, children, and you know, then he starts like playing up this caricature, but like of being like with the government. But then like halfway through the track, it switches, and then he's like rapping towards the kids, and it's anti-government. And it's really confusing. Everything in your textbooks comes direct from the government and is designed to malalign your minds from the divine. Literally. Listen, you need to take psychedelics so you can find out that right. the world take is ayahuasca and Yeah, DMT. no, that's literally what he's doing. <laughs> he's like, yo, take drugs. Find out that the world is flat. You'll learn more. You will no, learn no, more you see, he listened to one Tool fucking... song and then decided, yeah, the earth is flat. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> fucking Maynard James Cade is just like oh no the world is flat oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I I can't fucking I can't do any more tool bits that aren't anti-semitic <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, the, the, the fucking Christ, side tangent elbow. about, like, you know, fucking, oh, the, you know, plants cure cancer and the medical industry is a lie, and it's like... This is his fucking herbal essence track, right, I guess. Right. With more side tangents that just don't, <laughs> this like, I don't know, like, oh, the government puts all the shit in the textbooks and they're lying to you with kids and fucking... Blah. And it just goes on for, like, five, like six minutes almost, and, uh Eat these mushrooms and drink this tea, then lay back and relax while your soul leaves your body. These plants are gonna teach you more about yourself in this world than your teachers ever could. Okay, here's here's what I have to ask, I guess, at this point, is that like Is this a grift? <laughs> I I I don't know. Because like, this guy has like th- this guy's entire background has like like scam artist written all over him. All I think <laughs> this this feels like like a genuine attempt at something, and it that's does. the worst. It part. really does. it's not it's not a meme. It's not a meme. Like like it's you know I, I listen to something like Tom McDonald, and like I'm like yeah this is a grift, but mm-hmm. like yeah this? okay. Like no, it's this, like this. Okay. This feels like a guy saying the things that he genuinely believes. It, it's like it's like uh uh I don't know. It's like a specific kind of maybe it's like inaccurate to call it a grift, but like you know, sort of like a fucking like joining a cult through like a yoga seminar yeah. kind of shit. <laughs> I mean, the dude, you know I mean? the dude's into it, yoga. It kind of feels like one of those. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, yeah, he I has think his the merry-go-round world is the one that ends in like a Carlin sample. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, they're like, uh, there's like a bunch of fucking bizarre samples like all throughout this thing, and like a, uh, a lot of them are move on to Bruce. Yes, yeah, speaking of <laughs> oh yeah, Bruce samples. Hitler, which is, l- it's literally just a, like if you've ever listened to "Take Me to Your Leader" by King Ghidra, and you've heard those like, uh, like instrumental <laughs> interludes of like movie clips and shit. That's literally what this is, except like. <laughs> mixed awfully yeah <laughs> and made of the yeah. and made from the most like memed fucking clips on the internet <laughs> this is blasphemy this is madness this is sparta 
And I'm like, it ends in like a, a spoken word bit of him talking about how like the earth is flat and like we've been convinced by liars that like, oh no, wait, no, he doesn't talk really about like the earth, the flat earth on this. He just talks about how the Holocaust was faked. Like, Hence, to give you an idea. I don't know why, I literally don't know why it's called yeah, Bruce, Bruce Hitler. Hitler. To, to give you an idea of the kind of choice of samples that he got, he gives, it's like literally one of the first thing he does is the clip from fucking this, 300 where it's like, this is blasphemy! <laughs> this is madness! <laughs> and it's just like, the fucking just all, like, imagine clips just all of that level of like recognizability, just like, the, Mad Lib no. this guy is not. <laughs> <laughs> or not even, like, MF Doom or anything like that. Like this, this Fuck man is ain't not even on my clip. level. <laughs> No, he is not. This man is not. He is not. This man is not what I call a good crate digger. Everybody go listen to Pop's music. <laughs> listen listen to, like, the two Christmas ones. Those are, like, the good ones I've made. And I guess the singles I put out are all right. Oh, God. What is really the, just what don't fuck? listen to Maroon in Outer Space. That one's... <laughs> what else is I fucking I'm proud of Listening thing. to Maroon in like, Outer uh, Space is, like, like, a completely different fucking league of, like... I mean, you made music. This guy did not make music. Yeah, and another fucking bit, he just, like, samples the entire fucking, like, Bruce Lee fucking bit where he's like, uh, 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 you know, like, uh, be like water, friends. Uh, it can flow or it can crack. Just, like, <laughs> oh, all of that. that's where that's from. Just, like, I for, remember. Just, yeah, why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that, that, that Oh, that's probably Lee. why it's called Bruce Hitler. <laughs> because I guess he thought it was cool. But why? <laughs> that's the question. Like, just the entire time I was listening fuck to you. this. Because fuck you. Because the fuck entire, you. Just the entire time I was listening to this, I was just like, man, you couldn't at least pull, put in some, like, obscure 90s anime <laughs> clips in there or something. Mm. Hell, fucking well-known 90s anime clips. <laughs> <laughs> Could you Anything. imagine if there was a Sailor Moon just, clip in this you know. fucking song? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, fucking, fucking just throw in like a fucking Avon Gellion sample. Jesus Christ. <laughs> samples the fucking <laughs> samples the cicada hum from every anime. Present day. Present time. Present time. Present time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the level of sampling we're talking about here. Just like what the fuck is what do you it would make as equally as much sense. We make equally as much sense. He <laughs> just ruined the lane. Just the lane buzz. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, the, the reason I want to talk about this track so much is because the last track on this thing is, like, the worst one by oh, far. Yeah. <laughs> it's the worst thing, maybe. I, oh, my God. Um, it's, it's... It's for it's like it's not even because of any like racists or like anti-Semitic reasons, but like you know that's still a factor. But like <laughs> it's uh, very yeah. much a factor. But just the fact that this sounds like a fucking like okay, this track goes on for four minutes, and it's like the same like like loop of just this shitty instrumental that sounds like just the just sounds like it's it's you okay, plugged a guitar it's like, into a phone and use built-in distortion on GarageBand. <laughs> Imagine if you use that recording to technique to make like a fucking entrance theme for WWE, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it sounds like for four it's minutes. It's the same and, fucking like, loop. You know... Nazis took on the Jews and they lost. Germany knew just exactly what it cost. They made the ultimate sacrifice for us. Their voices are screaming from the grave. Listen up. He doesn't even no. He does. He doesn't even have bars either, like or any different verses. He has one verse that he repeats for and four he minutes. Plays like how many times? I mean, like, I haven't counted, but I think it's about three. like ten to fucking like twelve times looped. It's and he does it in this intimidating voice, like yeah. uh, it's like I'm, I'm trying to be serious. I'm I'm legit trying to decide if I've heard a worse album than this. <laughs> I will, I'm tempted to just give this like a negative high score just for I its mean, sheer fucking novelty. This is the of it. worst. I would not listen this to this, is this again. This the worst album like, I finished. I would. Def, I wouldn't listen to this again. I'd absolutely show this to other people. <laughs> yeah, oh turn. yeah. Here's the thing. I think. I think this is this is better than Otaku Hearts by Elite Street Boys. Maybe. Oh, okay. 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 I I will agree sure, with you on yeah. that. Sure. Yeah. I okay. 
Right, because that is that 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 might you know, be that, the that's worst unlisten- outfit I've ever heard. That's but. my that's that's only by virtue of the fact that I like you know have taste in good pop punk. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I do too. But Otaku Hearts is still <laughs> like. Oh no! No, it's no. It's like you know. I just I I'm by I I guess like you know this album is better by virtue of the fact that like it's not bastardizing my genre. I guess it it might be the worst rap album I've ever heard. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Even like I like I mean like Total's Anarchy is really bad. <laughs> fucking bad vibes forever. Really fucking bad. You know, I guess this but is this, worse this than is the Corp, worst sure. one. At least. Oh, it's definitely worse than Encore. Encore at least has, like, two songs that threaten to be good. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh... I think, okay, uh... Sorry, I uh, fucking got something to my chest there. Uh, alright, oh. so... Uh, yeah, fuck, is that, like, everything that needs to be said about one Eric Dubé of Thailand? I mean, yeah, I think, I think that's... I don't really think there's anything else that you can say. Like, no, like it's without okay. actually hearing it, it's hard to convey the listening experience of this album. It's like, uh, yeah, I, I think I think I'm feeling like a a negative three, a negative three. because one. like <laughs> I, I'm feeling like a ne- like anywhere from a negative one to a negative I three. Think because I'll like, give this a negative four because I. I've given um, the fucking Roger Waters' um, pros and cons of hitchhiking. I think I gave that a negative three. And this is more en- enjoyable to listen to than that. I will give this, I'll... like, okay. Yeah. I've settled on, like, a negative, uh, what? Maybe a negative two for, like, a few reasons. One, just because I like the concept of Bruce Hitler, just mainly because it's as cl- cliched <laughs> as it is. It's like, you know... I probably would have liked to, like, just make fucking sample music like that as a kid, except I wouldn't have been racist about it. <laughs> uh, and also, like, I don't know. I'm debating whether or not I actually want to listen to the guy from Life on the Ball again. <laughs> and also, fucking, there's literally yeah. no other album on the planet that has a line that says, they taped my eyelids open and made me watch Vsauce videos. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. It feels like I dreamed that line. That was not a dream. It wasn't. Yeah, it, it, you dreamed it, and it's been slowly fading from your memory. Wake up, the accident Over, like, wasn't the past hour. Hour. Eric Dubé is real. <laughs> oh, God, this fucking album. You're not in Kansas anymore. Yeah, fucking, like, this, this, this is gonna, fuck. It's gonna be a while until we find an album worse than this. Yeah, I'm sorry, um, folks. It's going down. Like, like... should, should, should we have like a should we have like a ranking going? Like we've had. Um, we've reviewed... I, I guess like like the best one's the Cosby one, then Corn, then this in terms yeah, of quality, yeah, entertainment definitely. value, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> I, I um, can. So I, I guess gonna... like there's more things about this that are funny bad than the Corn album. I don't know, Korn, yeah, Korn is worse. pretty funny, bad. <laughs> oh, definitely. But it's it's like Korn is like you know, like bad, but mostly like you know mediocre and like not, yeah, not too easy to laugh at. This is like yeah, full stop. This is like you. There's like, no like way to Korn take this unplugged, seriously. Like Korn they were trying something, they failed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this was trying something that fundamentally should not be tried. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> This just fails on. They tried. Own, he tried merit. racism. <laughs> she tried, tried racism. It. <laughs> it wasn't a good look. <laughs> racism, not even once. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, uh, Eric Dubé, if you're listening to this podcast, uh, hit me up. I want to smoke a blunt with you. <laughs> Eric Dubé, if you're listening to this you podcast, know, yeah, jump you off. You know what? Bridge. I realize, and and not only is this. Have we gone from like an album that was like very well produced to an album that sounds like utter shit? But we, but this album is pro drugs. Unlike Bill Cosby talks to kids about drugs, um, this album seems to understand what psychedelics are. <laughs> yeah, it's like I mean, to be fair, his conclusion was that the world is flat. So maybe Bill Cosby had a point. <laughs> it makes you do things that you don't want to do, like believing the it earth makes... is flat. <laughs> And kill people. <laughs> Hate the Jews. 
<laughs> it makes, makes turns you makes racist. Makes you want to go vegan. <laughs> Actually, that might be true. <laughs> Eat hot chip and lie. <laughs> Somebody gave Eric Dubé the racism weed. <laughs> This is what happens when when you give a Nazi the proud Mary. Proud Mary. <laughs> <laughs> they make an album the shticky, like this shticky. is like Earth this is devil's lettuce. This is living. This is living proof that like the people who are like, yo, the world would be way better if everybody just smoked a blunt and chilled out is like total bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this is walking evidence. <laughs> Here. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think I think we're pretty much done here. Yeah, fucking this has been this has been outskirts of sound. Um, I realized we forgot to introduce ourselves at the start of this yep, one, yep. but fuck you. Um, uh, whatever. <laughs> may, if you like the show, uh, I don't know. Uh, support me on Patreon. Uh, fucking, I have no no backers right now. It's only a dollar. There's, like, a one, like, outtake from, like, the last episode that I put up on there. Um, so, like, uh, you could check that out. You got that. I hope to upload more shit there in the future. Um, and if you want to support me, I am in the dumpster beneath I-10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, f- farewell. Catch y'all on the flip. Bye.